Texas Podcast Massacre contains spoilers and adult language. For more horror, visit us at our website at texaspodcastmassacre.com. Welcome to another episode of Texas Podcast Massacre, coming to you from Houston, Texas. I'm your host, Mitch, and with me as always are my uh, favorite dinner party guests, Lisa. They're a little mansony. And Nate. I could make you like me so much. <laughs> with just your voice? <laughs> with just my voice. Oh, with Lord. the breath of my... I can show you right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, yep. each week, not only <laughs> do you get happened. those those creepy sort of comments, Nailed it. but on Texas Podcast Massacre, we take a look at a different horror movie and debate a horror-related topic with our unsuspecting victim, who is usually someone that is not what we would call a horror fan. Uh, this week, we sent out an invitation to several people to watch the invitation, uh, but I didn't receive any RSVPs. Very rude. Very, very yeah. rude. We'll get, very we'll, get, we'll get him eventually. Yeah. So, unfortunately, Lisa, you are our sole unsuspecting victim oh, tonight. That sucks. Which, I, yeah. you know, I got to keep calling you unsuspecting. You're not unsuspecting, but I really just, I feel bad calling you the victim. Uh, although, <laughs> that's, that's what probably I am. how you feel watching all of this. No, every time, every movie, you're like, <laughs> it could get better. It could get better every time. No, you've, would you say Stockholm Syndrome is, is kicking in with these movies? It's been... It's, Are you now a horror it's fan? Been a roll- no. <laughs> so no Stockholm now, syndrome. I, now I'll, I'll give you all the benefit of the doubt. There have been good movies we've watched this year. Okay. Yep. There have been. Tourist trap. But no, God no. <laughs> it was good. Um, I like the new Saw movie. Happy Death Day was good. So I mean, we've seen some good ones, but you know, not not. But we've also seen enough. Tourist Trap. We've and Thanks also Killing. seen Tourist Trap and Things Killing. <laughs> And it comes at night, and the void. Does so. it does it hurt your heart uh, that we Nate that we put Thanksgiving and Tourist Trap on the same level of just awfulness? I mean, I think Tourist Trap's way better, <laughs> and, or at least in the shitty level, it's like it's a it's a it's like a, a millimeter above. Yeah. Well, six people on Shutter agree with you. So. <laughs> yes. Uh, all right. They're all mannequins. Other than that, it's great. <laughs> well. Well, yeah, true. I mean, yeah. they're all being controlled. Uh, yeah. Let's not get any further into that. And let's get into our debate question of the week. Yeah, we will see <gasps> how the Lord oh, favors you. No. You dare oh, not God. blaspheme. He will punish you. The dog of hell will devour you. All of you. No. No. All right. So in the invitation, uh, what becomes a what starts as a dinner party turns into a really not great infomercial for uh, a cult. <laughs> yeah, which is not really named, although they also receive the invitation. The invitation, like the secret, so, but it's, yeah. a, it's an envelope. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? right. That's basically what it, it has. Is. It has a more formal. Yeah. Uh, well, kind of. I don't yeah. know. Watch people die. Right. The invitation. Got it. So, look, I'm gonna tell you. If 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 I was at this party, I would not have been convinced. So, I want to ask you. You're trying to convince me to join your cult. What do you do to convince me? So me in a in a general universal sense. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. We already know what convince you, so we're gonna. <laughs> it's wrestling. <laughs> it's wrestling, Game of Thrones, or <laughs> Saints related. <laughs> you have an invitation to a wrestling match, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, Mitch is there. Yeah, yeah, free and limited water burger and canes done. Done. Ooh, raisin canes caters. So anyway, so that's the a good segue. <laughs> 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 oh. Anyway, so that's a good segue into what I was going to say because honestly, I would just offer people free food. Okay, I'm okay. going to make my cult an all-inclusive resort. Come, eat, drink. And it's all stay. on me. How do you make yeah. your money though? Are we make are cults about making money? Or are they about killing people? Usually, it's about making money to then facilitate the killing did, of people. Yeah, I did mean, Manson make money? Not so much. I mean, he he had to he had to have some money to get in the recording studio. Did Jonestown make terrible. money? Well, I mean, yeah, they got all the their, money of all the people. Yeah, to build they all the whole compound. Their, yeah. their possessions. Okay, that's and fine. All that. They have millions then of dollars. Then you can pay to come to my all-inclusive cult resort. <laughs> 
<laughs> so you offer like slightly below rates yeah. somewhere in Mexico, and you're like, well, oh, by the way, the close while you're friends, here, well, she's for not the smart. close friends, stay three nights, fourth is free. She's not paying. She's not going to be paying labor costs because they're all going to be cult members <laughs> that are working there. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, which is only just. <laughs> <laughs> Which is only just a little bit worse than probably most uh, most actual research. Like, hey, watch one watch eight. one death get one free. Yeah, <laughs> See? you offer perks and incentives; they will come. I promise you. Would you okay. gamify the uh, the cult oh. murdery thing? Like, oh, oh, wait, here's your punch card. If you've yeah. if you've murdered five <laughs> other, if five people drink your Kool Aid, yeah. you get a six Kool Aid. You killed your wife with your bare hands. That's. 20 credits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, wow. that's worth three nights stay. Yeah. 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 Wow. Good work. Here are, your, here are your cult rewards points. <laughs> you can use these points for your purchase of anything. And it's just like spider rings. Did you, just try, to, like, did you try to kill no yourself? No purchase necessary. Um, you, oh, you get like a, like a subway card stamp. Yeah. Yeah. Every, uh, oh, my God. <laughs> I like this. I, oh. Wow, that's a good one. A resort. I told you. So a cult resort. So yeah. is the idea that you would just keep, you would just convince them to stay at the resort, or are you sending them back out to stay No, you there? should oh, use the resort as the lure. Five, three nights, get the fourth free. The fourth is where you die, man. That's why it's free. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I feel like you get shut down real quickly, though. There's no real long-term sustainability there. It depends. I mean, I feel like most cults, once they have their ultimate death day, they're pretty much done. Once they do the mass okay. murder, once, once Haley's comet shows up, it's it's, it's over. over. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. I want my cult to be a little bit more long lasting, uh, personally. So what I would do is I would fund a low budget film that becomes a cult classic, and then the ideas of the cult get get embedded in the culture for many years to come. So you're saying watching the room for the ten billionth time next weekend is what's slowly killing me? Not slowly killing you. It's just if you wanted to have explicit cult message in there, there's worse ways to do it. You know what I mean? Like worship the spoon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God. See, or the people, yeah. people of the spoon. People we bend. The spoon. We bend according to God's will. <laughs> <laughs> See. Then I bring in the Matrix, oh. and then it's then it's just all of a sudden. Where's so the then, spoon? Well, then, so then there's it the blue yeah. pill, the red pill, and it doesn't matter. They both kill Mitch, you. Mitch, 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 Mitch. Stop, stop trying to balance the spoon. The spoon will balance itself. Okay, you just have to learn to be around. The okay, spoon. nerds. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See, there is no spoon. Yeah, there is no spoon, and that's the that's when you get to the top level. That's you also have to give me a million dollars when you yeah. when you get there. Other yeah. than that, everything's great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think I think for me, I would just find a very famous sci fi writer. <laughs> To write up a oh, oh you already got beat <laughs> you already got beat son you what got are you talking beat, about son. and then I would I, the the writer would then talk about yeah. thetans yeah. or other things that yeah. are causing you all this negativity yeah Moses the well known sci fi writer <laughs> is that what you're talking no. about look Scientology's already got the blueprint down I, don't, I mean you don't you yeah, don't mess you, with perfection you don't really don't need it you just need to, what you really need look if you really want a successful cult you need to just convince a celebrity to join it. That's that's really it. What a bunch of no name, hey, hey, bunch Mitch, of no name people Mitch, having you know dinner parties you know in their house. You know what celebrities hills? are in movies like <laughs> Maybe we should team up here. Maybe yeah. there should be you a team up. You know where they stay at all the time. Oh my god, it's right. one big call. We all win. Everyone but, but see what happens when they get woke because some of them <laughs> when some they of them, get woke some of them dropped out of Scientology because they you know what we should do oh my god was. oh my god you have X members go out as like a guerrilla force they never really turn they start making the production stuff or the backlash things so you get it on both sides. So you're getting the money from people that stay in and the money from people so that you're, get out. So you're, you're, oh my you're, God. Uh, you're, you're doing sides. your own anti yeah. and And then if the anti one uh, starts winning, then you then you're all anti. Well, the, and then you but, find another but, one to go after. You oh know, my God. You joke. The genius of that is if you have the anti people just putting up random like bullshit, and you're like, no, yeah. you can start pulling fake news on it. Yeah, call fake well, they, it's they, misinformation. You let them do, yeah, it's just you, let them, you let them do all fake news bullshit, and then yeah, you're set. Yeah, so. We're scary. I'm gonna run the call. That's basically what I'm saying. <laughs> every every week, oh, there's a, there's a movie show. What kind of movie? Is it a horror movie? All of a sudden, now yeah. our podcast is co opted into the cult. Did I join a cult? Is that what happened here? I mean, it's a starting. It's it's. A, it's a you're version. you're more the dear leader. I'm the shadow, <laughs> like person behind perfect. it. <laughs> I got. Yeah, Lisa, you're in this cult already. Yeah, you're in the cult. Yeah, this is but you're in the higher echelon. So you'll yeah. Be oh, yay. Yeah. 
If any, I have a seat at the table. If any, yeah, you d- literally, literally are at the table <laughs> where we record. Uh, yeah. Wow, yeah, this so. really spiraled. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not not where I imagined this uh, this one going. Nope. So uh, I guess I mean technically all great. We all win. We all win. They're all it can all work together oh, actually. That's right. Yeah. And then if you would like to join one of us. Texas can. Podcast Massacre <laughs> at TX Pod Massacre. We we're, we're taking donations at, at any time. Every every new cult joining gets a free T-shirt and uh, <laughs> and a coupon to Lisa's Cult Resort down in where where would this co- you know that's the question where would this resort be I need a private island in the the Grenadines or something you I go gotta like, talk to what the the guy that owns Virgin Airlines I'm sure he's got Richard Prince yeah Richard Prince <laughs> no buy one of the do. islands that got absolutely destroyed in the hurricanes and just get one of those private islands and then rebuild it so Haiti there you buy go. it cheap. Oh, oh, hit the drop. Yeah. No, hit the other one. That's, <laughs> oh, man. That was, that's gross. I'll move that in closer. That's gross. <laughs> I, I made myself laugh at that one. You're out, you're out of the cult now, Lisa. <laughs> We're picking them out of the cult. Yeah, that's done. gross. That's this gross. Is what, <laughs> two to one. That's why, I'm, uh, that's why I'm, I'm more the back office cult leader. You're the yeah, front yeah. office. Do not get him in front of the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Well, if that's all y'all want to say, um, y'all want to get into this movie review? No. I RCP, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've already seen it. At this point, if you don't talk about it, Lisa, you can watch this movie for nothing. I feel like even if I do talk about it, I've watched most of these movies for nothing. <laughs> But that's we need, the, we need to work on our uh, our brainwashing seminar. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah really I don't get any back. free perks here. I'm not ah, getting yeah. you know mm-hmm. snacks or we gotta, we gotta tighten that up before we roll this out. Well, all right. Well, let us move on then into this week's movie of the week, The Invitation. I'm so glad you're here. We've got a lot to talk about. So much to celebrate tonight. Each and every one of us is on a journey. And we feel that it's important to be on that journey with the people you love. Everybody, this is my friend Pruitt. Bars on the windows and no. Security. Safer. You've been acting so suspicious of our hospitality. Well. Jesus. This lot, so agitated. How has he been handling things? He can be self-destructive. I think he's doing the best he can. Something doesn't feel safe here. We don't see you for two years, and then all of a sudden, we get invited to this lavish dinner. Don't tell me that this is normal. Yeah, so the invitation is about a, uh, I guess, a guy named Will who's coming up with his new girlfriend to his ex-wife's dinner party um, where they're meeting up with several of their longtime friends and things are just a little too bizarre, uh, a little too weird. Yeah, uh, Nate, what do you got for us for this one? Sure. So I don't have a whole lot, but uh, this movie came out in you know, wide release in, in 2016. Uh, it's 100 minutes. Uh, it's got 88% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is pretty high, and a 6.7 IMDb. The tagline is, there is nothing to be afraid of, which I thought was a nice, nice good, subtle tagline. Uh, it's on Netflix, uh, who bought it after a limited box office run. So the box office was 355000 and then it got released on VOD, I think Netflix instantly for a budget of only one million. So that's not not bad um, at all. The director is Karen Kusama, who did Eon Flux, the terrible Charlize Theron sci-fi whatever movie. Jennifer's Body, which is favorite movie, I'm sure. <laughs> and and XX, which came out this year, the anthology movie. Oh yeah, I have, one, I have it on my list. Yeah, that's that's actually on Netflix as well. So if you want to check that out, uh, it's on there. The original cast was going to feature Luke Wilson, Topher Grace, and Zachary Kinto. Then they had to wait to get new people, and then they came up with the people in this movie. But that would have been that would have been interesting. Yeah. A, little bit, a little bit higher level of of. Yeah. of I don't fame. know that I can see Johnny Galecki in this. 
Oh, yeah, probably not. That's no. why he wasn't in the movie. <laughs> well, no, like, no, he was going to be. Yeah, yeah I, I, I can't yeah. imagine him playing any of these characters. I Wait, assume he would have been Johnny Ben. Galecki? No, I didn't. I, I was like, eh, I'm just going to skip him. But yeah. Oh. No, yeah, no. John, yeah, sorry. I, I must saw the Johnny Galecki was. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So that would have been a little more interesting. But I, I mean, I, I liked it. I think it was, Zachary Quinto would have been good. Yeah, I think he would have been good as uh, as um, David. Yeah. Yeah. He'd have been, as he'd Dario Naharis. Yeah, yeah. He'd have been, yeah. 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 So that leads me into the people who were in the movie. <laughs> Michael, Michael, Michael Hoosman, the most Dutch name in the history of Earth, Hoosman. Uh, yeah, he's Dario in Game of Thrones. Yeah, sorry, Nate. That was just so distracting when I, yeah. thought, I was like, Dario! Dario! <laughs> and he was in World War Z. Uh, and then the I was like, just because Khaleesi, Khaleesi ditched you doesn't mean yeah, then he, then he you had to, had to join go a crazy. He lost his wife, quote, quote, quote. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, and then Logan Marshall Green uh, plays Will, the main character. You might remember him from Prometheus, um, Devil, which is an underrated good movie. And of course, yeah, he Devil's was really good. He was Trey, the the, the brother of uh, the main character in The OC. So, oh. in case you want to catch is him, that, in, that's your favorite one, right? The you want to catch him in season two of The OC as Trey. He is there. I can't remember if it's The OC or One Tree Hill. The OC is much better. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and this and this movie premiered in Texas. In March of 2015, for the first screening ever, as helped by Southwest. Oh, nice. Yep. And that's it. Pretty sparse, pretty sparse information on the movie. Mm -hmm. Just like the movie itself, kind of minimalist, you know, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah whatever. Well, so overall impressions, what did, uh, Lisa, what did you think of this kind of high level? Yeah, I think my issue with it is we've been kind of inundated with cult stuff lately. Like American Horror Story Cult is literally... About a cult. It's got cult in the title. And we just watched an episode where it's like all the cults, famous cults ever. So, I don't know. To was see it? another cult thing, I was like, eh. It's just that drink the Kool-Aid. No. Cult of yeah. Chucky. Yeah. So, I think if I hadn't been on cult, you know, burned out on cults, yeah. maybe I'm it would have been. I'm on cult nine. <laughs> yeah. It, it, but it I mean, wasn't. Eh. We've talked about that in a few episodes. There, it's It seems like there's been a lot of. Focus on cults and a lot of and that's what we thought Jigsaw was really good and kind of well. This came out before all of that, so just heads up. Well, no, a fair, but so we if anything, if anything, we are watching it now. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, so. that's what I'm saying. If I had watched it another time when I hadn't been so slammed with cult stuff, yeah. maybe I would have liked it better. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, also, I don't. I didn't. I didn't. I get the motive for why they killed the kid. Why there was a, a child? I mean, you don't see it. It's all oh, that all the, happens previously. Why the movie had had the yeah. kid die? <laughs> like they killed the kid. Wait, what? No, <laughs> but you you know, I see why they use it as the motive for those two main characters to kind of lose it. Mm -hmm. I feel like they could have done something else. I don't know, but I'm just overly sensitive about that stuff right now. So, kids dying. Yeah. 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 Nate, what about you? What do you think about it? I mean, I agree with I agree with Lisa. It is difficult to uh, not. <laughs> He's gunning for that job. He wants it so bad. Give it to me. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, no, I, no. I. I really. I really like this movie a lot. Uh, it is. It's. It's fairly realistic. So we've all been to parties that have been kind of got awkward, right? Yeah. I mean, at some point, uh, and you have to like stay civil because it's a party. But then, like, oh shit, is getting weird, right? Yeah. Like, I, luckily, I've never been. Had any sort of murdery situation at any of these parties, which is nice. Thank goodness. But no, yeah, I, I, I get it. But you think, like, especially because of the flashbacks, which is this is one of my favorite flashback movies ever. Like, the flashbacks really flesh out the story without becoming distracting. Yeah. Because all the characters have gone through this whole trauma of the kid dying like eight million times, probably, right? So there's no need to put it there. But they put it in the flashbacks. Yeah. yeah. And so then he becomes kind of like an unreliable narrator almost because he's like losing time. He's snapping out of things, right? He's yeah. all over the place. So that's why I liked it because it it kept it kept it, uh, even though it was kind of it, it was a slow build, it kept it interesting because yeah. things were going on in his head at the same time. I think I think I and I like that. And yeah. I think it had they gone a little further with the unreliable narrator piece of it, yeah. It maybe would have hit a little bit better I think for me. they hit the reveal too soon. Yeah, I think the, I think going full on into oh yeah, they're in a it's a cult. No, it's it's not a yeah. cult. Cuz you like, really could have played that whole is there something going on or is yeah. he just really crazy cuz he's grief stricken? Well, I think I well I think it was because they wanted they knew everyone think, was going to think it was a cult so they threw the cult out early. 
But then they say like, oh, it's not. And that's what all cults do now, right? There's tons of, I'm sure there's tons of cults like yeah. this. There's like, oh, no, we're not a cult. We're like the other cult or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's like that. No, but I mean, ha- had they really kind of stuck to like, oh, we all met at like grief counseling or something. And then you kind of yeah. found out, no, there's this guy. And it's like, like you could still have done a lot of the same stuff. But I think yeah. once they threw out the cult word, you were kind of like, Okay, yeah, no, I know, I know. I pretty much where, know how this. Is I kind of know how yeah. this is going. So when, when, when the big reveal about you know we'll get into it, but you know the, the final, yeah, 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 it's yeah. kind of like um, okay. But there was part of me that that was thinking like, oh man, is it really because he's crazy? Because that would have been cool too. Well, that's what, well, I'm, that's saying. what I'm saying. Yeah. Had, yeah. had they, but I never, I but, never, but I, 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 I never got to that point because I was always like, no, it's going to be a, a well. Cult. What they did was to to alleviate that was they made Choi alive. So once Choi was alive, did, yeah. that was the, supposed to be the thing like, oh, shit, it is. It is. He hits all in his him, head. Right. Yeah. 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 And then he might be violent against other people. No, there was still 20 minutes left in the movie. Yeah. So. Well, he that could or he could have been he could have went violent on everybody. And like, oh, this is where I hit the gun in the house before. And this. Oh. Again, I, I know what they were trying to do. Yeah, I yeah, just, yeah, I, yeah. I, that, that's the only thing that keeps it from being like a great film to yeah. like, it's just pretty good. Right. Okay. Yeah. That, that's just my point. That's right. Um, so let's let's talk about some of these characters. So first, we we are introduced to Will and uh, Kira. Yep. Uh, Kira is the girlfriend. Will is the uh, the father of the deceased uh, kid. Yep. Kid. Yeah. Uh, they are going to his ex wife's house. Who Slash her his name, old house? His yeah. old house. Right. Oh, yeah. Which is really that's weird. So brutal. That's so so weird. let me just ask you this: brutal. Because this is already uh, here's what I would not have done. Yeah. Uh, gone to an ex. Your <laughs> ex. Go back to the house. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's for clo- for closure reasons. It's like all right. It's been a few years. I want to. Well, but David mentions like two years yeah. been that Eden and uh, this David dude's been like missing for two years. Yeah, so it's been like maybe like three, four years ago when the yeah. kid maybe passed right, away or right. something. Yeah, so it's been so. I, I kind of it still seems kind of weird. You know, what did y'all think about this kind of opening sequence of him them driving up? Them. I mean, I get why this guy's having some mental problems during this because man, that would be. The most traumatic thing of all time, right? I mean, yeah. you go back to the house. See, that's why one of the things I was saying is like, can we just meet at like a like a Starbucks or something? <laughs> can we just like can we just do like a like an initial public place meeting right. first? No, they, they're just dropping bombs hey, everywhere. I, you know what? I booked the uh, the the banquet, the dining room in the back of the Papados. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, keep this nice and open. Yeah. And if anyone's wondering, does the coyote die dot com for this movie? Yes, the coyote dies. How Uh, much more horrible would it have been had he killed the coyote with the baseball bat? What's the difference? Tire iron baseball bat is pretty equal. Because his son died because another kid oh, well, hit him but, in the but, head but with a baseball bat. Oh, oh shit. shit. I didn't even think that's, about that. That's not the point of why the coyote <laughs> died and they showed that, though. You know... But the avid cell suck. Yeah. <laughs> it was br- well, the coyote was a metaphor for everyone in the movie, right? Because well, it was about the mercy. They've all killing. had trauma. Like, they're all, all had trauma. Yeah. They're exactly. All, yeah. yeah, they're all in misery and pain. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It was Maybe good. Telling him you did the right thing and put him out yeah, of his misery. I liked it. Yeah. I liked it. That was good. Good foreshadowing. Yeah. I didn't like it, but I got it. <laughs> so your dog, your your dog, hate your dog's dying, extends to coyotes? Is that what you're saying? You know, it I don't know. I, I'm all sure. innocent animals. It's animals, yeah. Uh, but at least there's a point. I'm a, I'm a little bit okay with it if there's a yeah. point to it. Um, well, the point was the metaphor for the whole movie. I know. Well, that's, so. that's again, there's a point to it. <laughs> it, it just, just happens just because it's like, let's get a reaction out of someone. That's what yeah. I don't like. It, this is okay. the, this it feels is, cheap. It doesn't feel yeah. The same guy that was sad in the green room when the dog was sad that his murderous owner had died. Oh yeah, he I know. So I mean, between you guys, we can't kill kids, we can't kill dogs. I mean, what's left? Jesus, well, this is ridiculous. I Horrible get- adult human beings. <laughs> well, that happens. So, <laughs> so you're not, all right. You're not so let's talk it. about some of the other uh, dinner guests. They um, made their choice. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so we made. Uh, so there's you know, Daniel. We've talked about or David. Excuse me, David is uh, Dario. Dario. Yeah. I'm sure, I'll say that. Just say Dario. Who cares? Bunch, yeah, who cares? It works. Uh, so we meet Gina. Uh, we do not meet her husband Choi. Her boyfriend. Her yeah. boyfriend Choi, yeah. For a while. For yeah, for a long while. Uh there is uh Miguel and Tommy who are uh the together. Couple. Yeah. Yep. The, mm-hmm. One's a doctor and one's some other guy. Right. Like, we, we, part never of the really, couple. Yeah. Yeah. we never really knew. Then there's Ben, who is without his wife and kids. Yeah. Um, and I thought I did see some commentary or something where 
they originally the the wife uh was supposed to be there but they cut they cut her out and let her um not be in this just, oh, okay just add some meat to his character um and then of course there is claire and and, and pruitt the She's two the professor. weird people that no one really knows well no sadie is oh sadie claire's and the sadie. professor sorry, who sorry. leaves yes yeah, yeah. yes claire's the professor sadie is the 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 crazy yeah, i'm on one. shrooms girl i feel love in the air tonight i just want to tell you i haven't only known you for three seconds but i just want to tell you i feel god in this chili <laughs> i feel god in this <laughs> That could have totally. You could have switched it out. It would, either yeah. would have worked. Yeah, Pam Beasley. And yeah, Sadie. I feel God of these. Children. Wow. <laughs> I right. want to thank my kids. Yeah. <laughs> That's what. You're... So any of the any of these any of these dinner guests stick out to you for any reason? Any, any of them? You're. I mean. I mean, Ben sucks to be him. He's like he goes in. Oh, Eden, you're so nice and centered. It's face slap. That sucked. I don't. To me, he was the least interesting. Oh, okay. I don't know. He was like, "Oh, I hate my wife. She hates me." Blah blah blah. Let me kiss some random people. I was like, "Eh." <laughs> I've seen. This I think before. it was a little. It I was a little care. different. Those were that. exact quotes. It wasn't a Those little. Those were exact quotes. Not really. <laughs> he didn't. You know, you said they did that to make him meaty. I didn't. I thought it made his character worse. Well, he's like, I think I hate my wife. Huh. He's like, that sucks. But that hate- was a, yeah. that's a literal quote from Will. Like. That sucks. He's like, yeah, but then so angry. But they did have, yeah, yeah. hate. The hate sex is great. Yeah, apparently. apparently. Uh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, good thing she didn't go to this party. So. Yeah. <laughs> jo- I did, jokes on him. Yeah. The the other characters were kind of like, it was just, it was, there's not a whole lot to them. It wasn't they didn't really, really go into in depth on Yeah, they were no. just, they were there to kind of flesh out different yeah. parts of Will's whole dealing with everything. That, that's kind of what they were. They were kind of more sounding boards or like bringing a little different yeah. perspective. Yeah, they weren't bad. It, it wasn't, it, it, it yeah. wasn't distracting or kind of lame. It was just kind of like, it was good. It was good group dynamics though. Like the yeah. I want game watching the video yeah. kind of all that stuff. The group dynamics were, I think pretty solid. Well, like you said, the one the, the, it, it just, what, what always throws you off with that a little bit without any sort of like background is that when, when people start doing stuff, you're like, Oh, is, Oh, so you're a doctor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, yeah. You gotta just like, oh, I guess you you do. Th- okay, you're that guy. Okay, okay, I get it now. <laughs> so that that always kind of like takes you out a little bit, but yeah, um, but uh, I, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I didn't. Ben Ben was okay. Didn't really. Care. Gina was cool. She was. I fine. didn't really have a strong yeah. feeling for all of them. I, I well, like, I did have strong opinions about both Sadie and Pruitt, in which I wrote, don't know who these people are, but fuck them. Yeah, <laughs> like you never been to those parties where it's like, that. here's all of our friends. Oh, and I invited these two other people that no one. Knows. I invited these two extremely strange people. I haven't seen we like if Nate, if you were gone for two years and yeah. then you invite like all of our friends over together and yeah. then oh, and by the way, here's some people I met in the desert. Yeah, huh, Bernie <laughs> man. Hmm. Well, I mean, you know what? <laughs> it, it, yeah, at first you'd be like, all right. Well, I'm just happy to see also, my friend. Also, Pruitt is like 40 years older than him. Yeah, well, that's it's the thing. Yeah, it's like, like it's like okay, this is weird, but I, we haven't seen you, and you're kind of weird now, and we're just trying to figure out if you're still our friend. Blah blah blah. Then though, so I mean, we can. I, I, are, are we talking? Are we talking about the scene with the the video, the invitation? No, uh, I mean we. Well. Go ahead. So yeah. we just get into it because Might as well. So this, this party's weird. There's some outsiders. There's weird group dynamics. Clearly, Eden and Dar- I'm just gonna call him Dario said David. Sure. So he, yeah, that, yeah. that's over. Uh, are kind of weird and they've been been being weird yeah. and been gone. Right. Right. So like, hey, let's want to show you this video on this crappy laptop without a projector. Get a projector, guys. I can barely show y'all shit on my Mac when we're at this table. Exactly. Why is everyone huddled around? Get a projector. Okay. <laughs> if you're gonna. Airplay that. Airplay it. Yeah, yeah, they don't have an Apple TV. This in this is day not and age. a very good. This is not a very good uh, promotional no. video. If you, you can't even see that it. shit. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Chromecast. Cult, cultcast. Uh, if you want to cult cast it on something, highly recommend doing that. Right. But no. So in this laptop, they have the leader of the invitation thing guy. Mm-hmm. It's all about um, people have had problems. So the, you know, Dario's wife had died or something, right, or something. Yeah. Uh, their kid died, right? Everyone's had problems. Sadie had some. I, I never Pruitt went into murdered it. his wife. Pruitt murdered his wife. But I'll, I'll get into that. And the thing I'm saying is, so you show this video, and you basically show someone dying in a video. <laughs> Just in the middle of this party, you're drinking, you're having yeah. fun. All of a sudden, 
death video. Yikes! Yeah, it really lets the air out of the <laughs> out of the party, right? Did I you mean, really, the, the, really lets the air yeah, out yeah. on a video where a yeah. woman takes her last yes. breath and everyone else is breathing it in. Killed the party as well. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Uh, so, I mean, is this the is this like the worst din- like party entertainment? I mean, that's brutal, Lisa. <laughs> the the <laughs> dying really video is bad. So when you when you when you come up with your dinner parties and, and events, you know, do you do you try to work in you know faces of death in there somewhere? Oh my god! <laughs> you like snuff films. <laughs> hey guys, uh, I, uh, before we before we eat, obviously we're, we're gonna watch the snuff <laughs> no. films. Yeah, bold choice to do that before dinner. <laughs> well, I mean, not after There's so dinner. many cues in this, though, that it's like, if that happened, my ass is out of there. Yeah. Well, and they're yeah. just like, that was weird, but let's go eat. Yeah, so, no. so that's the thing. So that is bad. And you go, okay, you guys have dealt with a lot of loss. Yeah. I get it, but man, that is tough. I want to leave. Yeah. Then. These are the most polite people I've ever well, seen. It's because it's a party, so you have to like keep like the, you know, like your... You to, like you know the, yeah. like the civility or like the whatever of the party. You can't like lash out like yeah. Will does, and when he does, rightly, everyone looks at him like, "Oh my god, you're ruining the party!" Yeah. Right? So I, yeah. I get it why they did the party. So that's actually smart. Yeah. The thing that's crazy is that okay. So then you tell that story. They do the I want game, kind of like never have I ever. Yeah. That gets a little weird, but in a more at least a more fun way, right? I want so to like, tell right. you about my wife. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, this yeah. ain't gonna be good. No. So the party, <laughs> the party is kind of getting come back. Cocaine, people kissing, whatever. Sounds great. And then <laughs> that sounds like, great. Well, it, I mean, it, it turned into the babysitter. It's getting more fun. <laughs> it turned into the babysitter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> it's getting more fun. And then he's like, "I want to tell you about my wife." It's like, okay, here we go. Or sorry, what, what was your accent he used? Uh, I want to tell you about my wife. Yeah, I don't know what his, what his uh, actual yeah. accent was. It, it seems southern-y, southerny. Yeah. Southerny. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I would have been added, added to it. I then think. this new guy. So he's the new guy, right? The random mm. Mexico friend. Tells a story about how he was in jail for seven years for accidentally killing yeah. his wife by hitting her in yeah, the face really hard. It. Yeah. Then I'm out. <laughs> right. You deal with the one thing like, oh, but they're, they, they, we know them. They're our friends. And yeah. then this random other guy starts throwing this out. Yeah. yeah. Then you're done. Then you're done. Yeah. So, and, and the one girl does leave. Claire, she's like, all right, I'll be, I'll be the first one to okay. be the dick. I'm so, out. so she leaves. Yeah. Did, did she die? I think she died. I think she might have. Because they never showed it. They never showed it. But she's pulling away. You're like, oh, she actually made it. And then he's like, wait, let me talk to you. And then it's off screen so you can't see. I, I, I think she did. No, I hope not. I think she did. I think she died also. I, I think it, it's. Because they've already kind of dis- discussed right. the cult. Yeah. It's already kind of out in the open. So, yeah. So, yeah, they don't show it. I guess you're supposed to kind of because they're trying to play into that unreliable narr- narrator yeah. piece of it. Yeah. You, n- yeah, you never know. So he's you- watching. Her, he's watching them the whole time. Um, I-, I love this guy. Will. He's like the he's no. like the I will say I did parent for everyone. Apparently in the commentary. Apparently. Well, yeah. In the comment <laughs> in the commentary. OK. There is a scene where it shows that she's dead. Oh, oh really? really? Yeah, like a deleted scene. Yeah. Aww. Well, because it's, uh, it's yeah. They, well, it's not so much. Yeah, I mean they cut it right because it, it was kind of like it was kind of like you see it in the corner, you see her body, and that's and and what's supposed to make you question it is the fact that Pruitt comes back after talking with her and he's holding a coat. Oh. But the oh. coat, but the coat's darker, and hers was white. But the idea, I think, is that oh, well, it's darker because it's. Actually, oh. bloodstone. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Yeah, so that's or supposed, use it to move the that's body. That's supposed or to be yeah, your, yeah. your your hint. See what they uh, should have done uh, is at the very end of the. I'm not going to give away the ending, but at the very end, she should have she should have been alive and come back and be like, "Oh, I forgot my glasses." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you know what? I'm I'm okay with this. I'm okay with your guys. Oh, oh, oh yes. okay. Yeah, I'm I'm out. Out. yeah the uh, but yeah, the, I mean, when, once that pro guy tells that story, though. Oh, yeah, I am out. On, I'm out on this guy. Yeah. This guy walks no one anywhere. No, ever. Yeah, he can walk to hell. That's it. Nowhere else. So let's let's talk about this cult. So you know this while they while they tell you, oh, I'm not really trying to talk to you about my cult. 
Just yeah. just like you've dealt with your We're friends that, with our that grief. tell you about like the great new diet they're on or the fucking benefits of kale. You know it's a lie. You right. know they're kale's just, great. Oh, kale geez. is good for you, Mitch. It doesn't taste One good. One of Ye- us. No, eat no. some kale. Goobble hey. gobble. Goobble <laughs> gobble. No, people, exactly. People tell you that kale tastes good. That's where they're crazy. It tastes okay. bad, but it's great for you. But if you put it in a nice soup. We are going off the or rails. Or salad. Oh. Mitch, yeah. Mitch, let me show you this video where people will eat kale and then die. <laughs> There's so you many watch this Everyone's video. eating kale of a dead person. Yeah. Now they're, they're part of us. Yeah. The kale is what bonds us. Look, there's yeah. so many foods you can sneak it into. You don't even know it's there. You're getting the nutritional value. Just give in. But then, Mitch, then how Mitch. will I get cleaned of all my thetans? If Mitch, I'm Mitch, with Mitch. Kale? You need to have more belief. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. So yeah, let's talk about this. <laughs> let's let's Thank talk you. about this cult. Oh. They're they're definitely they're definitely selling, even though they claim they're not, because yeah. that's bullshit. So, well, let's say like this, I don't get what they're selling. So the cult is we watch people die. We're okay with that everyone dies. Well, we need to let go of our grief. Yeah, that's basically the whole. The cult thing, right? is yeah, let go of pain. Don't let pain. But what is the cult? So okay, I get it. So everyone had trauma. You're trying to get over it because. You know, your kid dying is really traumatic. Mm-hmm. You want to not be depressed your whole life. So I get it why they, people go there and why they get people. What is the cult, though? What do you mean? Well, like, what is it? So they're gone two years. I mean, what are they doing for two years? It's like kind of like self help or like, yeah, kind of like, um, you know, it's classes, like grief, counseling, grief, grief I guess. classes. Yeah. I guess. But what is the cult, though? Like, I, I just don't get So they just go to Mexico and like. It's an all inclusive resort. <laughs> yeah. It just where they get naked sometimes. Apparently, hey, oh, oh. at least from the waist down. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I get with the cold. only waist down. <laughs> you can't wear. You have to wear a shirt. Yeah, shirt, shoes, service. It's everything just like, else. Everything else it's is just optional. Like Harold and Kumar, wasn't it? They were having a, a pantsless party or whatever. Yes. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. I guess. So you're trying to sell me on this? Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, for, I don't know. I don't know what it is because I, I don't understand. Uh, they never really kind of explain why they're ki- why they have to kill everyone at the end of it. Like why? Well, because they won't have any pain anymore. But uh, they're they're waiting to like the last minute to try to convert all these folks. Yeah, I don't see how they actually thought one dinner party was going to convert. Yeah, them. well, because yeah, cool. the I never game was supposed to was supposed to what you know that's that's what cults do to kind of break down your inhibitions and yeah. you know so they know how to effectively kind Which of certain context you. can be great you know yeah. depending but yeah yeah so I mean I don't yeah they I feel like they waited till like the last minute this and is they, like the people that say you can work out five minutes a day and lose all the weight you yeah. can't convert people over well, a dinner. I don't party. think it's they're trying to convert them. I think they're trying to get them in the right space so like. Let go of your stuff and let go of your inhibitions. Then when we kill you, we'll feel good about it <laughs> because you've let go. Yeah, I, I think why are, why that because you feel better. Exactly. But did y'all ever yeah, get a yeah. sense of why they're actually trying to kill these people? Or why? I mean, if they're just all going to like commit it's, suicide. No, it's because it's a journey that should be experienced with friends, which is in the trailer. So they want it. They not only do they want themselves to have the the. Uh, the no pain anymore. They want all their good friends not mm-hmm. to have pain anymore because they might not be as enlightened as them, but. We can still have no pain together. Yay. I think, was, I think that was the plan. Maybe, maybe that is it. I, yeah. It I was think kinda, that was the plan. It was a little lost on me, I guess. Yeah. You know, uh, they were trying to get him in like the mindset, like, okay, so let go. That's going to happen. When we kill you later, you'll feel like, you know, we'll feel better about it. I, and, I think that's what well, it was. And, yeah. and didn't they say in the original video, they're like, we're going to take this journey together and we're all going to go together. Exactly. So they was like, okay, these are my really good friends. I want to go with them to the next. Yeah. Life. And, and even, uh, was it, uh, who's the gay couple? Who was the doctor guy? Miguel. Mi- Miguel. Miguel. That's right. Mm-hmm. Even Miguel goes, it was weird, but at least she was surrounded by loved ones. Right. Like he said that after the video. And then I think that's, that was what they were. Yeah. They were, they were wanting them to yeah. say. It's like, yes, we feel yeah. Good about killing you, even though Maybe. according to having that Sadie person and that Prua guy, I mean, it didn't matter how it was going to happen. It was going to happen. Those guys are fucking nuts. So did they ever kind of explain why they decided that everyone had to like kill themselves? I never, you know, I get, I get in real life context why cults yeah. do that. I don't necessarily know why they did it in this. I mean, I guess case. if you, I don't know, what is this like? You get to the top level of <laughs> the cult and you realize, yeah, you're dead. You worked through all this pain and now you're dead. Well, you but got the, it. But, you got it. You're out. But the leader, the do- the doctor who yeah. we haven't established his credentials, uh, sort of says that you know he has sends that video to all of his messengers saying, "Look, yeah. tonight's the night. You need to. You need to." But he doesn't say. He says it in a very coded way. I was hoping. 
I, well, I guess if you would have seen the whole video, so he gets cut off by that Pruitt guy, right? Not true. I was, I, you know, I bet if you watch the rest of the video, does he kill himself on the video? Or even, I, don't know. I mean, maybe, you know, right? Like that would have been freaking crazy. Yeah. It'd been cool if they played the video over the end credits. Like the rest of that video. The that, last bit of it? That oh, would have been awesome. Been good, yeah. Oh, man. And he's just going yeah, over and they just shoots themselves. there were a couple different endings himself. they could have done that, yeah. that would have been solid. Yeah. Although the ending was the ending was pretty great, though. No, it was. But there's like a couple little twisty things at the end they could have done. Yeah. Exactly. So, yes, I mean, after they have this elaborate dinner, you know, he realized, you know, uh, I'm sorry, I'm blanking on his name, but the main guy. Will. Will yeah. He, <laughs> he, he started realized, to flip out. He's like, where's Choi? Where's Choi? Yeah. Where's Choi? And then Choi shows up. Where's he's Choi? Been, trying to figure out where fucking Choi is the whole movie. Freaking Choi. Freaking Choi got called back to work, went back down the hill, still didn't bring dessert. Yeah, man. Well, he got called back for work. He wouldn't really think about it. Yeah. Unreliable. Was unreliable Korean in, in Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. Yeah. <laughs> Choi. Jesus. Uh, Where's fucking Choi? Where's Choi? Yeah, you just keep yelling. I think it. I kept writing. Every time they said it, I have fucking Choi written down like yeah. 10 times. I loved it. Because he, he was like, and everyone's being so polite. Fuck this. Like, yeah. he was really getting into it. I loved it. I was like, I was on Will's side 100%. What about you guys? I was like, yeah. Whatever Will was doing, I was yeah. like, that would I, that's would be what I would do. I was just disappointed he didn't, like, go further with it. Yeah. Did any of y'all think it's weird that uh, Eden's new boyfriend, David, looks just like Will? Oh, they look similar. I was like, hmm. There's a little bit of similarity hmm. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so uh, they, get to this, uh, they get to this scene, and, and Will has seen the video, and he's like, no, fuck it. We're, this is... This, don't drink the fucking wine. Starts breaking yeah. bo- glass. Jacques. Yeah, I wrote that in my notes. Yeah, and, every, <laughs> and everyone is like freaking out. But then, of course, Gina is just like just straight up dead. Well, yeah, because she drank. Well, no, he, he which I feel like she died because it was a party foul. Because she drank while everyone's cheersing. Yeah, yeah. You don't do that. Yeah, he knocked the drink out of everyone's hand Lo- again. This guy's great. Love this guy. Then Sadie goes crazy, cra- on crazy monkey on her or on him or whatever. It knocks her head, and then while her head's like, oh, my God. And then you just see, like, the what is it, like the, the white foam coming out mm-hmm. of Gina. I was like, oh, 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 oh. He was right. That's some straight poison. And it, because at that point, you were like, holy shit, is Will going to start killing people? Like, he was, yeah. he was really breaking to the, the edge. edge on that Choi thing. And he's like, why is everyone being so fucking polite? This is insane. And everyone's yeah. looking at him like, dude, you, were, you just did this. You need like, to chill out. You did this like 30 minutes ago. You already freaked out. Now it's, yeah. like, a, it's like, a, yeah. like a tear up freak out. So I was hoping if the movie would have been just, yeah, they were in this kind of culty thing, but it helped them. And then he yeah. ends up killing them. That would have been crazy too. So either way they went with it was pretty, yeah, pretty awesome. Was there, was there a death here that stood out to y'all? Oh, well because, then, I mean, Pruitt just goes, yeah. oh, Pruitt just, yeah. So a, sh- a man who is, yeah, he's killed before. He'll kill yeah. again. No, that was the reason why they bring up the whole he's in prison. So they got like they got like basically like murder backups from this call, right? Like, like yeah. we need murder henchmen to help us with our friends. Like that sucks. I think wow, when they loud. killed Pruitt, that was oh something. yeah, that, that Pruitt the the when, yeah because um, Kira is that her name? Yeah, Kira. Yeah. yeah, she was just like screw this. I this wrote, guy's going down. I wrote oh shit Pruitt boss fight. <laughs> 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 because that's basically what it ended up yeah. being. I mean, it, it, we just got to give a shout out to Kira here. I mean, I wrote, I wrote down, you know, she, yeah, she a, didn't know any of these people. She has a heart as big as her arms because <laughs> <laughs> she was really she was like a Michelle Obama arm. She was crushing. I like how Sadie uh, gave up, though. Like, I don't know what happened. Like, we see her and then we go off screen and then she's like dying from the poison. So I'm like, did she think everyone was dead or was she just like, whatever, I'm going to drink? No, didn't they? Didn't they I- do something to her? To kill her too? No, I don't think so. I think so because she didn't. They drink slammed it, did the she? door on her. No, no, I think. But I think when they were going around, they killed her too. In there, going around killing everyone in the house. No, but she was. They found her bloody on the couch. She yeah. was already dying. From what? I think she That's drinks. The question. I think she From drank. Some I think of the she went back and drank it. No, because there was the foam coming out of Gina's mouth. There would have been foam in her mouth too, right? I don't know. Somehow no. she. I thought they killed her because. She was. She just. She. She was just dead on the couch by the time. No. So died. she chased them. They slammed the door on her. I think, I think. I think they. I think she got killed by either Pruitt or Dario or whatever. I don't know. They didn't show that. That's what I thought. Yeah. That's. I that's thought. They leave it vague. Yeah. 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 And she does not die nicely. It was not no. a. 
It was not a beautiful death as they showed in that video. All these deaths were the well, that was the whole point, yeah. right? It's like well, yeah, that so was why like Eden's that. freaking that out. That was the yeah. interesting thing was to see Eden freak out because normally you don't see that, and she was like, "This is not right. We were supposed to all go peacefully together. What the yeah. hell's going on?" Well, yeah, people don't after after an hour or two of you know. Yeah, a few hours Watch, just, watching a video of someone yeah, awkward, old lady you know, just, dying. Yeah. You know, like, oh yeah, dying sounds great. Let's all go peace. She should have been putting some shit in that tr- some tryptophan in that turkey. Oh, well, I thought they were putting those barbitol things in like all the drinks to like knock them out, kind of. Mm. But they weren't. I guess should have. Yeah. Everyone seemed fine. I just feel like they, I thought it was she waited a little cake. too long. They should have started. They should have started that shit yeah. earlier. And, and I love so you know so they try to poison everyone. And then uh, Dario grabs a gun and shoots Choi. God, fucking Choi. He just yeah. got bad timing just yeah. all around. He, he got there early, then he got called into work. Didn't bring the dessert, as Lisa mentioned. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then he actually gets there, then he gets shot. <laughs> Almost Which, instantly. If your will and yeah. your whole theory had just been confirmed and yeah. this girl's dead, how do you not keep an eye on David? He just totally spaced out. Yeah. David went and got the gun and went on a rampage. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I, you're, they he's were all, been so on point the whole time, like smashing the glasses and but doing once everything. It actually and then happens, he just though, like, it's like I, everyone after the first gunshot, everyone was like very like, oh shit, like yeah. very like yeah. deer in headlight kind of thing. Then the second shot happened, and then that's when everyone snapped and ran. But I loved it. Do you guys notice like the uh, the awesome pep talk that Will gave Kira when they're hiding in the in that one room? Uh, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's like. All right, we're gonna get out of this. They're just people. Like he like gives a really good pep talk, and then and then you see David give a pep talk to Eden, and and he's like, "It's okay, we just gotta finish this." Like it was the worst pep talk in the history. It was like <laughs> yeah. a really good pep talk and like just suck it up, garbage pep talk. Wow. Wow. Like just, just kill these people. It'll be over. Well, see, that's what happens be... when you go for substitute. Uh, Will Exa- yeah, yeah, yeah. I stick with the real thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. Although she tried to kill herself when he was around. So awesome. I mean, true. A different story. Uh, but. but- <laughs> Did you, so did you guys feel sorry for Eden? So Eden just wants all of her friends to die. She's wanted to die since her kid died. Did you feel sorry for her at the end? No. I felt sorry for her a little bit. I mean, she was a more... I felt sorry for her because I know that that's probably an unimaginable pain. Yeah. Did I feel sorry for her wanting to take everybody down with her? No. Oh, of course not. Yeah. I, so, so I, I mean, at the end, you kind of, you know, you do feel you're supposed to... I don't know if you're supposed to, but... Well, yeah, she make it so you could feel. Time, right? I, I, I she had, she had said, "I'm over it. I'm, I'm, I'm past that. I'm on to my new life." And then you realize at the end, she was, there's no, no way. No, she was she's worse over than everybody it. else. You want to kill? There's no yeah. way. I, I, I don't know if I'd say I feel sorry for her. I, I, but I think I bought into why she was taken up by this. Yeah, why this makes cult. sense for her? Why it makes yeah, sense? Sure, yeah, yeah, why, why she wants to believe it? She was going to kill herself. I mean, if not, yeah, maybe so, for this, these people. The, yeah, so, I guess she felt that was her only real escape from the pain. Well, but, but, well, she's bought it. She's bought into this thing that's sort of filled up this yeah. void in her life, whether it's you know artificially or not. Yeah, so, I mean, I mean it, it was I, the motivations for everyone. The she, she, she truly yeah. believes, oh, yeah. this is going to happen. That this will help my friends who are all affected by this. Yeah, and we're all having their own problems yeah. and stuff too. Yeah. So what, what is what is Kira hit Pruitt in the face with? What was that? It's a fire extinguisher. It was a fire extinguisher, like, right? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> that was frick. Again, everyone who like oh, let's die all peacefully, and everyone's just dying so hard. Yeah. Like his yeah. face is just getting chunks. Like it was yeah. brutal. Then Eden grabs the gun, and the most brutal way to shoot yourself to kill yourself is shooting Slowly yourself through the, the stomach. stomach. Oh my god, that's the worst. Yeah, your stomach acid is just like ugh. Oh. Not yeah. good. No, yeah, no. that is that's some. Yeah, for someone who wants to avoid pain, she yeah. She well, she, well, she's like, it's happening now, so I'm just gonna kill myself in the worst way possible. Yeah. I think by then she felt so bad, she felt she deserved. Yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. So because she good shot job, Will, Will. Yeah. and then it just kind of hit her, and she was like, "Oh my god, this is terrible." Yeah. yeah. So oh man. So at the end of this, we are left with Will, Kira. And Miguel makes a surprising comeback to save them. No, from, no, Miguel's dead. No, no Miguel. It's Tommy. Uh, Tommy. Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, yeah. Go Tommy. Yeah, yeah. yeah Tommy he, he came back and kills uh, kills David Dario. Yeah, yeah, to save him. With his own, the real life Dario would obviously well, the real life the game of Thrones, <laughs> right. the real life Dario the Game of Thrones Dario would obviously have made mincemeat out of him, but this one was not great. Now let's talk about this ending because this oh, ending is best ending s- ever. 
So yes. I feel like this ending could have had a bigger punch had we talked about what I said earlier, but it's still good. Sure, very good. Um, they go outside and they, you start kind of hearing all these police sirens. And earlier well, no, in the movie, yeah, earlier yeah, yeah. movie, you yeah. notice that David has lit this red, um, this red lamp. lantern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're like, I think I even told Lisa, I'm like, okay, uh, is a whole, the whole cult's going to descend on them? No, it's letting everyone else know that they've started. And when you look down the hill, you see all these other red lanterns. Oh my god! But it wasn't every it wasn't every house. No, but, but it, it was, was like lot. half to two thirds. Which oh, <laughs> oh my god! And he mentions too the cold had people from L.A., New York. Yeah, exactly. Oh man, no one in Houston. So good. H town proud. H <laughs> <laughs> yeah. town yeah. strong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, then he looks out and he's yeah. like, and he, I mean, the last words of the movie era was, oh my God. Yeah. And then there's so, and there's so many red lamps in those hills. In those oh hills, yeah. my God. And you hear a scream, right? Like a, from someone like far away. Mm-hmm. And then this, it, the mood, then the rest of the movie is just sirens getting louder and louder until it cuts out. I mean, that yeah. is awesome. Yeah. What a great ending. Yeah. Three, three people survive out of this party of like, was it 12 people or whatever? Yeah. And yep. then, I mean. Wow. Yeah. This, this, the fact that the scope expanded so much mm-hmm. is just like a total mind fuck like of amazing proportions. Yeah. I thought anyway. I don't know. No, no was, yeah. yeah. It was, it was, a good it was really good. Yeah, you feel like there'd be some overlap on, on the people that are getting invited. Like, what if you got multiple invitations? <laughs> no, do I want to get killed at Jeffrey's house or do I want to get killed yeah. at Mitch's place? Oh. Mitch, is, he's got, uh, Mitch has got a projector, though. Uh, we just, got I mean, do you, uh, yeah, we could have shown that, that death movie you know, yeah, and, on a projector. Yeah, for a whole lot of people to see it. Uh. <laughs> yeah. this, these people had really, apparently, like a jillion dollar wine or whatever. So, yeah. I mean, it was a lavish yeah. undertaking. I don't yeah. know. Was he just like, look, I've been holding on to this wine. We're all going to die. Let's good. drink it. Oh, exa- that's exactly what it's it was. my special like, occasion. Let's one. just bust out. Let's spend all of our money. Let's do whatever. I, but the thing that was really creepy, and the, one of the last things I want to mention is the forethought that went into this. So they kept locking all the doors, locking them in, mm-hmm. but bars on windows, like they actually planned out to keep everyone in. So when everything went down... It's not like that Eden could say, like, oh, I thought everything would be nice and we wouldn't have to do anything. No, you were putting bars on windows and shit. Yeah, I mean, you knew there was some forethought happen. happening. So yeah. that kind of throws that. And but I guess when it really was, happens, was, was there a dear leader out. telling him, here's what y'all need to do and here's the exact steps? Maybe you should have watched the rest of that video. There's, yeah. he, he, there's some, doing some pretty low level Sherlocking, you know, all, yeah. all throughout this house, which yeah. I, I appreciated. Nice job. Which, bro. yeah, surprisingly, that they let him just have free reign of the house, but. Well, it's like he can't get out anyway. And we got guns. So fair. Which <laughs> what a dick move to change the son's room into like an office. Be like, yeah, can I go see my son's room? Yeah, go ahead. No heads up. That's the room. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he had another comment too where he's like, Yeah, my house or something like that. Oh. And I was like, oh. I loved it. I like these little interpersonal things and it's like yeah. it was and Will's reactions to them were yeah. fantastic. Uh well, any, uh, any last thoughts y'all have around this movie before we get into our final segments? No. All right, well, let me ask you this then. What would you have done differently? Son of a bitch, you left the bodies and you only moved the headstones! You only moved the headstones! Why? Why? Why, Nate? Why? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah, so, uh, Nate, what would you have done differently? Once Pruitt tells that story... I am out. I'm jumping You're fences. Claire. I'm jumping well. fences. No, I, I'm, I'm out of here. That, this freaky ginormous dude yeah. tells a story. I'm out. Yeah. And, and you know, you always listen to your girlfriend. I mean, she's like, do you want to leave? Should we leave? Yeah, you leave. All right. Yeah. <laughs> listen to the girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, the person who's not emotionally attached to anyone or anything at this house. Yeah. Exactly. It's like, okay, if she <laughs> says we should leave, be like, should yeah, it's time to go. <laughs> she, she has my best interest at heart more than anyone else. Yeah. I'm going to listen to her. We no. should just jump the fence. We missed the job opportunity. It's time to go, girl. It's time to go, girl. <laughs> yeah. I, I would also meet my ex in a public place first. Like, I mentioned this earlier, but go to a Jamba Juice. You know? Yeah, <laughs> like, you haven't like, seen each other in years. Yeah, like... No, you know. Well, he even we'll even calls it out. Why the fuck are we doing a lavish exactly. dinner party? We haven't seen you in three Jamba years. Jamba yeah. Juice. <laughs> that's what. That's I all. Don't I know if I would say. go to a Jamba Juice guy. And then lastly, fine. you know what? If you just want to kill yourself, fucking kill yourself. All right. Yeah. Don't involve others. Be your own crazy people. All right. I mean, Jonestown. It. She don't, tried. Well, Jonestown killed congressmen. So I guess well, never they, mind. But they, yeah, they murdered a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, Lisa, how about you? What would you have done differently? Um, so I'm going to take the approach, uh, the differing view of the cult, mm-hmm. because 
I mean, really, they did everything wrong. One, don't out yourself. Two, just take everybody out from the first class. Why are we, you know, messing around? You got to time it. There's like a timing situation with yeah. the lamp. I don't know yeah, what the timing is. Stop being so suspicious. If they had been less suspicious, they would have gotten away with it easily. And start getting real. But they have been so creepy the whole time. Like, don't yeah. lock well, the door. Think, don't make people start yeah. going, what the hell is going on here? Yeah. Just be cool. I think it's because they have to, like, they have to try to proselytize to them before they kill them. I think that's yeah. part of the that's But they part could of have the come deal. at it from a different angle. They could have come at it as, look, you know, part of this is we want to start the healing process, so let's talk about what happened. And, yeah. you know, it was... Instead, they're like, hey, come to a fun dinner party, and let's talk about this really weird stuff. It's so... They, I just think they went about it all wrong. Gotcha. Yeah. And clearly they did because they didn't get away with it. So. Right. Well, they yeah. mostly got away with it. Well, yeah. But I mean, the end result is how many people are dead. They. It was not the smooth transition they wanted it to be. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's because they're mentally unbalanced. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think that that like I think they thought it all was going to be yeah. great, and then because 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 numerous times Dario was like, okay, maybe they didn't come out right. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, no shit. He's like, oh, sorry about that, but ugh, this let's is the try worst that again. party of all time. I know. Yeah, no crap. Yeah, I, I went with the same with you, Lisa. In that I I looked at the cult because I think the the guests actually. Very, they're doing their best to be a comedy. Very reasonable, very rational. Like if, gone, if you're yeah. at a, yeah, uh, I would just say maybe if you're in a cult and you have a a video that maybe would hint off what's happening, maybe you just put a password on that computer. Maybe you just keep that shit. Why not? Passwords are gonna be dead. Boom. You're locking the door, but you're not gonna lock your computer down. Come on. Well, yeah, Come on. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, just because they don't have cell phone signal, I mean, they can't send out an email or a text to nine one one. Just hey, saying. Yeah, well, you can you can do you can do calling through Wi Fi. Yeah. Do they even have Wi Fi? Well, they maybe not. They might not have Wi Fi. I mean, yeah, maybe they have that video on local. Well, they had to because they had yeah. to download the damn video and he's streaming it or something. So I, mean, I don't Crew know. Brought it by on a USB drive. I mean, who knows? <laughs> who knows? My point being. Put a put a password on that laptop. Uh, so awards. Um, I have several, but I will. I have like five. I have three. We're gonna cut it down to three. Oh, three. I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, all right, Nate. We'll do, let's do this. Let's go back and forth. Okay. You give me one. I give the safety officer award to Will. Yeah. Stole it, son. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he said, "What if there's a fire? Don't lock these doors." I love it. That's yep. Oh, yep. this guy was great. Loved him. I gave best hall monitor to Pruitt. <laughs> oh, hey, we're ready. We're, in there. Re- we're ready for you when you're ready to come join us. You to know? die. I mean, <laughs> yeah. No, nope, yeah. don't worry about yeah. it. Least reliable Korean in LA goes to Choi. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> they, they gave that to him already. Yeah, for calling from there, finally gets signal. Yep. He's like, hey, he was here. No, he left for his job, came back, no dessert again. Then he dies instantly. So, I mean, you know, no. he makes up for it. I give the hostess with the mostest award to Eden. Uh, that meal was looked delicious, and <laughs> it looked she great. She planned one hell of a party. It was weird by most of the taste, but you know there was games, there was a video, there was copious amounts of alcohol, there was a huge smorgasbord of food, and yeah. a birthday cake plan yeah. for Miguel, who's. Fuck, it was his birthday. Sure. That's a weird time to set yeah. up a birthday party. <laughs> or was well, the, it wasn't even a birthday party. It was just. Was the cake poison too? No. No? no? You don't think so? It was just the. Just the but it made more sense. But because but they all ate the cake and yeah. it didn't. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Hostess with the mostest goes to eat. Okay. I have I have the, the creepiest guest award to Pruitt. That speech was, again, it was supposed to be yeah. hauntingly ridiculously terrible yeah. and he nailed it I, it was again you, lisa you hear this yeah it i am out terrible. i am out like oh i feel like i'm out way before that but yeah. i mean that, that would be the that last that's what I was like, that would be yeah. the last and that's what claire is like i'm out any awards from you lisa yeah I, mine kind of fits in with yours so i give it the sweet endings award because i mean she's like look we gotta just serve a nice cake before we all go out on this. <laughs> Something a little sweet, you know. This poison will go right to my thighs award. Which, it, which <laughs> of course, you follow up a cake with a nice, you know, sweet wine. So right. it, it all worked out. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Nate, what else you got? I have one more. I got I got the washing my hair award to Claire. Uh. <laughs> She's like, 
I would literally rather do anything and make any excuse than be in a room with these people. <laughs> I'm, I'm almost I'm, makes it. Yeah, I'm just gonna give the uh, the best dinner beverage option is, is beer. Uh, that's the award because frankly, no, I've never seen a cult person trying to poison a can of beer. It's always wine. It's always some red liquid drink. So whether it's Kool Aid, whether it's wine. Yeah, is bring, this where the bring your own drink and just keep it on you? Oh, yeah, so like, the, yeah, the BYOB award. Then. Yeah, so right. bring, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've just, seen it. Well, I've been iced by people uh, who are our friends who uh, drank a bottle of beer, then put a smear off ice in it, then recapped it with their recapper, then gave it to me, and then I was iced. To be by fair, wow. you have brought that on yourself. Doesn't matter. You could still do it, but if you BYOB, you, you, you saw that. So you're, you're taking That's the Mad Eye Moody approach. Just keep your flask. Constant on you. vigilance, Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> Don't trust anybody. Do not Constant trust a drink vigilance. that wasn't made by you. Look, that's safe advice in any situation. It is. If you ever see someone in two years, yeah, yeah. maybe bring your own drinks. Yeah. That is true. Okay. I don't look guaranteed. None of these people know the difference between. Four hundred dollar bottle of wine and a ten buck chuck. Bring your own shit. It doesn't Especially matter. Especially once you find out they're in a cult. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. hey, they're in a cult. Maybe we stop drinking what they're giving right. us. Right, right. Again, we've talked about this before. You know that cults have existed, and they have all. And we even talk about it. Why are we all just like? Eh, well, because they don't fine. want to believe that they're friends and they went through stuff. I, again, it's the party thing. It's like I, I gotta get be it. Polite. I yeah. get it the same time. I'm like ah, I'm just gonna stay sober. Nate, today. if you came back and told us <laughs> you were in a cult, we'd be done. I, it's not a cult. It's a cult. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy was so right. bought a compound in Mexico. Oh, Christ. All right. With that said. <laughs> we only wear tuxedos. That's why I'm dressed up so nice tonight. Oh, it's all no. good. I was wondering. It did seem a little odd, but I didn't want to be rude. With that. And we made a movie about it, and that was my, <laughs> my ultimate question. Oh, my God. Got and with that, we're going to move into our final segment. Final cut. <laughs> I'm jumping ahead of you. Yeah. Six out of ten Red Lanterns. Yep. I, ten Red Lanterns. I I like this movie. I feel like again, the cult reveal would have been a little cooler. I think it would have made things hit a little bit harder right toward the end, especially with that ending. When first you you know, because it would just be kind of revelation on revelation right toward the end. Yeah. I think it, they really they slow played it. It's sort of lot. yeah, it's yeah. simmered it's simmered a little too long because by the time again, I even even when Troy came back and they did, they did some very clever things to make you think he was insane. Yeah. But, and he kind of was when, when you already thing, had yeah. that reveal, it was like, no, the, 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 the cult is definitely going to, it, it was going to play. You, I never was in doubt of how it was going to sort of play out at the end. Gotcha. The only thing that really surprised me was the, the ending. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I say if the cult, if they could have held that cult piece, that that's really what it was. Like if they just said, Oh yeah, we were at grief counseling and this is where we all met. And so yeah. these are, you know, folks that also have, you know, they've dealt with things and we're all together. And then it comes out later. That's cold. Boom. This is like an eight or nine out of 10. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Very well written. Very well acted. Just. Yeah. That's my really only kind of complaint. Yeah. Um, Lisa. I'll do five out of 10 thick paper invitations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I mean. So official. This is so official. Yeah. <laughs> Wax seals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. I mean, for everything we talked about, it, yeah. it could have been. It was good. It could have been a lot better. Now, if you, if this if we'd watched this movie two years ago, does the score go higher or or does it stay the same? Why? Because of the kid? No, because of well, the, yeah, um, the kid and the cult thing. Well, the cult thing. You mentioned the cult. Yeah, the cult just, overall, it was not a good time for me to watch it. So, but <laughs> <Yeah. Well, laughs> that's what's So, so would you have rated this movie higher? I don't know. Ha- hard to say. Hard no, to that's say. Fair. That's fair. Just asking. M- the more likely though, for sure. More likely, okay. but okay. Well, it's, it's just fair to say. And maybe I, I that might have been the same for me as well. Yeah, so so for me, this movie this movie is like right in my wheelhouse. Yeah, you have the uh, yeah, it's very witch esque. Yeah, well, it, it, it's it's I don't want to say it's slow because it's entertaining the whole time. There's no, it's not like there's like lulls or anything like no. that. Things are still happening. It's it, it's a build up. All the things about the cult are in the conversations. Like, oh, yeah. we, we have people in LA. We have people like it's just a throwaway comment. But if you put all those throwaway comments together at the end, you're like, oh shit, this Great. was. It could, you know, it, it, oh, they were mentioning everything they were going to do yeah. when they did it, which is crazy. The flashbacks, I thought, were like the best flashbacks ever uh, in movies. The atmosphere was good. The cult henchmen were a little meh. Yeah. And then the, the music is great. I guess another award I should have given is if you hold a camera on anyone's face long enough, it becomes creepy. 
And if you and you could take any if you take any of those scenes, change the music. Oh god, which is zooming in on my face. Uh, if you take any of those scenes and put like happy party music to it, it could be like a happy party movie. Like it could be like old school like, too. What's yeah. that? What's that movie with all the celebrities? At the end, end of the yeah, world. This is the and, end. This is the end. end. Yeah. yeah, it could. But I think they used music real well, and the music yeah. I think was spectacular. Yeah. So I give that. But I give it a total of uh, eight out of ten. Last breaths. Nice, nice. Yeah. Again, I, I, I like. Yeah, it was good. I, I think yeah. overall. Um, okay. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this week's episode. Nate, where can they find us? They can find us in all of our episodes at texaspodcastmasker.com. Uh, you can check us out at Twitter at TXPodMasker, where we're putting out uh, YouTube videos for uh, our, each episode and some of our fun parody videos that we have. All of our episodes, horror haikus, uh, different funny tweets. So check that out. We're on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, and Google Play. So check us out on those platforms and give us a rating. All right. Well, thank y'all both very much. Thank you all for listening and tuning in. And from all of us here at Texas Podcast Massacre, just keep telling yourself it's only a movie. Good night. Good night.